everyone. Welcome back to my channel, She Sews Happiness. I'm Mary Ellen. I'm sitting here currently having a little bit of a coffee break. Um, I've done very little today, I have to be honest. I basically took the day off thinking I would have a sewing marathon, but given everything else that's going on in the world, my attention seems to have been diverted there and it's very hard to focus on sewing projects and on everyday life when Ukraine is sitting facing off an aggressor pretty much for the sake of all of us right now and yeah it's difficult it is difficult to just keep going and do those everyday things um when there are people not that far away from us who are just sitting in fear um and not able to enjoy their everyday life so I suppose for me it's a case of not taking things for granted and being incredibly grateful um, that I'm sitting here today without a threat or fear um, touching me personally. And I know from speaking to some of my fellow sewists they've been feeling the same way and their sewing has over the last week or so just taken a bit of a back seat while we watched what was happening in the world, while we felt helpless and while we did do whatever little things we could like donating um, money or whatever. It does make us feel better but the big problem is still there so yeah mind has definitely been somewhere else. So I suppose my vlog today is an attempt to kind of focus myself and not get too anxious and not get too nervous about the world in general. So I'm having a cup of coffee, black like my soul as I say, and I'll share with you what I'm planning to make in March. Who knows if I will get even half of this done, who knows if I'll even get one of these things done, but I do sometimes think it's helpful for me to plan things um, that I can spend my free time on. So the only thing I've done this month actually is, you can see behind me, I have made a Tilly and the Buttons Pile Cardigan. I have made it before. I have chosen to make it this time in a very lightweight cotton jersey um, in this mustard ochre shade which I purchased from the rag shop recently and I do love it. I want it a cardigan that wasn't really a cardigan, if you know what I mean. I actually thought that this would look quite nice just as a simple wrap top. Um, now I could wear it as a cardigan if I wanted, I've tried it, it sits okay even considering the fact that it's quite light, um, but it's properly reinforced so hopefully having stabilised the neckbands and things like that it will last, I just wasn't sure how a lighter weight jersey would last for a pearl cardigan, but I'm really thrilled with it actually, absolutely love it. It does need a wee bit of a press and stuff before I actually wear it out. But yeah, that has been the height of what I have achieved this month. And it's what, what date is it? Third or fourth? I don't know, it's Friday. And honestly, I actually have taken the day off I've used some annual leave just because this week I have been so under the weather with a persistent cold that won't go away. And I know in general what happens to me is if I don't just stop, that cold will linger for weeks. And I don't want that. So I decided to take a day off and just, yeah, relax and uh, get outside and enjoy the, the spring, the spring weather that seems to have appeared probably for one day only. So I'm uh, monopolizing on that. And you'll see I've even burst out some lightweight clothing. This is my Friday Pattern Company patina blouse that I shared with you um, in previous videos. And I just think it's absolutely lovely for a day when the sun is shining. And yeah, I'm loving, I'm loving this blouse. I don't really wear separates. And if you're not a stranger to my channel, you'll know that 90% of what I'm all about are dresses. But I have, as you can see, so with this and this, I am trying to introduce more separates into my wardrobe. So with that focus, that's kind of what I'm working on for the month of March. And what I have done today, although honestly, as I say, I've done very little, but I have here a project that I've managed to cut out. 
So this is going to be a Stanwick Gourd Circle Skirt and it's being made in an absolutely beautiful emerald, maybe more, more dark um, forest actually, when I really look at it out of that sunlight. Um, a dark forest green tencel twill, I believe. Again, this is a fabric I purchased from the rag shop. At the same time, I purchased the okra mustard shade of Jersey because I thought that these two colors really do go really well together. So I have got that cut out and to be honest once I stabilize the waistband that's a really straightforward make and an hour of sewing should see that one sewn up. I'm not doing anything fancy. I'm not even doing those front pockets or making a bib or anything. I'm just making a straight circle skirt. Just a staple basic to put in my wardrobe. So that's probably something I will get done later on providing I have the right colour sip. I have not done any basic supply shopping in months. And yeah, I just know that one of these days I'm going to go into my sip drawer or into <laughs> my interfacing drawer and I'm not going to have what I need. So note to self this weekend, while you're not at work, go and buy essentials. So that's what I'm going to try and remember to do. But I'll absolutely get started on that at some point today. I don't want my coffee to go cold. I always let my coffee go cold when I'm creating a vlog. So what else have I pulled out then for the month of March? As I say, I'm trying to work more separates into my wardrobe and I, again, I'm trying to work more plain colours into my wardrobe just to kind of broaden everything up a little bit um, rather than having so many prints, which I really do. And then I try to match them with something and ultimately fail. So if you saw my fabric haul last month, you will know that I purchased a few bits and pieces from Jenny Stitches. And one of them was this plain black Ponte Roma. And I bought this with the intention of making Gertie's February pattern on her Patreon, which were the Audrey cigarette pants. Now, this will be my very first foray into making trousers. I actually don't own a single pair of trousers, so that gives you an idea of how much of a challenge this may be. I do think I have, over the last like 20 months of sewing, got to terms with the upper half of my body. I tend to be able to fit my clothes quite well for the top half of me. I have zero experience, other than a couple of straight skirts, of fitting clothing to my lower body. And yeah. It's gonna be interesting. It's not even the lower part of my body that concerns me because my legs are actually a part of my body I've always been really happy with, whether I've been a size eight or a size 16. Um, my legs do have that um, family shape. We are blessed with a couple of lovely features in our family. One, shapely legs. And two, we are quite fond of our noses. They just feel really classic or something. So we're really proud of those. And teeth, we have all been blessed with really good teeth. I'm 38 years old and I've never as much had a filling or any dental work at all. So I am really blessed uh, with that. But I do have weight in my middle section that I've never really had to deal with as a sewist before because the majority of my clothing do tend to cinch in at the waist and then flare out. So I've never had to come to terms with, with something like a full belly adjustment and quite frankly those words fill me with terror. So these cigarette pants could be the thing that breaks me. And I'm thinking I probably should chronicle the, the entire experience that I can share what may inevitably be my very first sewing fail. Um, I've never had an item of clothing that I've made and went, oh, I'm not happy with it. I do imagine this may be it, but if I don't try, 
I'll never know. And I've never been one to step down from a challenge. So those are going to be my Audrey cigarette pants. And I hear a delivery, so I'm going to. I had a really exciting delivery um, from the postman there. So actually, I think I'm going to be making two vlogs today instead of one, because it is something I am going to share on my channel as I'm really excited about it. Um, and I would like to encourage some of you to get excited about it too. So, gonna set that aside. That's one plan out of the way. And then from Jenny, I also purchased some cotton jersey in this beautiful red shade, which isn't coming up as dark as what it actually is. It's more of a lipstick, lipstick red um, in real life. Now, I bought this originally to make a Barbie top another Gertie pattern, to go with the cigarette pants. However, after making this in a cotton jersey, I might end up making another pearl instead. So, or I could just make one of them and order some more of the fabric to make the other, which actually makes a little bit more sense. Think, Mary Ellen, think. So, yes, that's another plan that I have. And I haven't planned too much. You'll probably be glad to hear, so my video shouldn't be all that long, but there's a couple of other things that I have here as well. So, this is totally changing up the palette of colors that I have. This is a gorgeous cotton Pontel fabric, which I purchased, I think it was last month, might even have been the end of January, um, but I got this from Felicity Fabrics. It's a beautiful, lightweight cotton pontel, lovely bit of stretch, maybe not as much recovery as some other jersey fabrics, but we will find that out before we start. And the reason I bought this was to make myself just a lovely lightweight spring cardigan. And I always feel like those gorgeous pastel colours are beautiful for spring and for that Easter period. So this, I believe, is going to be one of my favourite cardigan patterns, um, the Jennifer Lauren Handmade Juniper Cardigan, which is a gorgeous cropped cardigan, raglan sleeves, v-neck. It's got a real classic vintage vibe to it. But of course, this is another fabric that would look amazing as a pearl. Um, so yeah, we really are spoilt for choice when it comes to patterns, aren't we? But this, yes, I'm hoping to get this sewn up. If not in March, definitely in April. And excitingly, I am going to be Felicity Fabrics um, guest blogger in the month of April. So this month I'll actually be creating something um, else that will then feature on their blog, which is really exciting. And oh, it's really nice um, to have been chosen and selected by them to be a part of that team. So I'm looking forward to that. And I have picked out a beautiful fabric. And once it arrives, that's where my focus will be going. And in fact, I have a couple of focused things that I can't share with you at the moment. So there's that blogger post for Felicity, which will be lovely, fingers crossed, if it all goes according to plan. And secondly, I was just talking there about Jennifer Lauren Handmade. I am going to be testing her latest creation. So I'm really excited about that. I've just popped off my order to the printers to get it printed out a zero so that I can just cut right into it next week. I think after the last few projects I've been doing, I've tired myself. I'm exhausted um, of putting together A4 patterns. And the thing is, as well, when you're creating vintage silhouettes that have a lot of skirt, etc., there's a lot of pattern piecing to do. So yeah, I need a break from that. And that's probably got something to do with the fact that I'm loaded with this cold as well. I'm like, just go easy on yourself. It should be a real way to here too every day, really, isn't it? So yeah, that's a couple of other things that I can't tangibly share with you today, but are definitely in the pipeline for the month of March. And I look forward to revealing both of those projects. And then the last thing I have here is, and, the, and this goes with everything around me kind of at the moment. So it goes with my beautiful green, not that I'll be wearing them together because it's gonna be a dress and you know, whatever. But I will be able to wear it with that cardigan 
um, in the same way I'll be able to wear the skirt with the cardigan. But this is going to be one of my ultimate favourite patterns, which I probably do revisit every month or two, um, and that is the Sew Over It Marguerite dress. Um, just a gorgeous, floaty, lightweight dress for living in hope the spring months. Saying that, it has been known to snow in Ireland in March, so I gotta be realistic. So there we have it. Those are my sewing plans for the month of March. If I get all of that achieved, I will be so proud of myself. If I get half of that achieved, I will be so proud of myself. So, leave that with you. Um, hopefully you have some beautiful plans for spring yourself. And I'm going to go and get into the delivery that has just arrived and create a video to share that with you as well. So watch out for that one too. Have a fantastic day and have a beautiful weekend wherever you are. Hopefully you do get some stitching time. Thank you so much again for popping by and visiting my channel. I really do appreciate all of your views and your comments, particularly your comments. It's lovely to strike up conversations here with sewists that I've never met before because, you know, I've, I haven't been sewing for an awful long time. And really I've just been sharing things on Instagram until last month when I started this channel. So it's lovely to meet a lot of you that are here creating vlogs or even just watching them. It's a really nice, community um, to be a part of. So yeah, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do hit on the subscribe at the bottom of the video. And if you hit the notification bell, obviously it'll do what it says and let you know the next time I upload a video, which to be honest, isn't going to be awfully long because I'm gonna go and create another one right now. As I said, have a great weekend. Thank you so much for being here. Bye-bye.